Okay, in this segment, we're going to build on the single underhook position. We're going to go where once Jimmy gets the underhook, he's going to do a form a move called a sag headlock. Remember, you're going to need a little back step here. So remember in, sec in uh, the level one, we went over back step. Here we go. He's going to pummel, he's going to get in there, going to get that underhook position, elbows up, and here he's going to sag the opposite side with the headlock. And you saw that it wasn't a complete back stop, uh, back step. That's why we call it a sag headlock. Right here, I want to just point a few things out for uh, you guys. Here, Jimmy's got the headlock really good. And he doesn't do a complete back step because he won't be able to get his hip in. He makes a little back step, see how his hips are in, and now he's just going to sag all his weight to the opposite side. This is why we call it a sag headlock and not a back step headlock. Okay, notice that he didn't get his hips in. He just got his hips right next to the guy and he sat all his weight towards where he's throwing. Here it is in full speed, what it looks like. Very good, and the pen and